Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we have quite the tone shootout for you. We're going to be looking at my MTD 53524 and my USA PV Cirrus. Let's do this. Next to me are two awesome five strings. We have my USA MTD 53524 with a lot of special features, including a gorgeous rose of the mountain top and my PV Cirrus five string. Now this is a total apples and oranges comparison, but there are some very interesting similarities with these two bases. Both are 35 inch scale five string bases with 24 frets and both feature active pickups, active low impedance pickups and three band preamps. The MTD has a three way toggle switch for three different mid frequency targets. However, the PV does not have this. All it has is a classic three band preamp, treble, mid and bass, nothing else. Now I tried to do some research and see what the mid frequency target was for the PV and unfortunately I couldn't find any info. However, I reached out to our friend Rodney McGee, I'm going to link his channel down below, and he was able to test his Cirrus and he told us that the mid frequency target was around 440 hertz. The MTD has three different targets as we mentioned, we have 250, 500 and 1000 hertz. For this comparison, we are going to leave the mid frequency selector switch at 500 hertz, because that is closest to the 440-ish that is on the PV Cirrus over here. Now, one other similarity, though it's not really a stock similarity, are the bridges. They are both rocking hipshot A-style bridges. I swapped one onto my PV, and I am very happy with the end result. I did have to use different screws on the saddles for the B and the E string in order to get them to intonate properly, but after doing that, I had no problems and everything is working great. Now let's talk about the differences of these bases. The first being their top woods. This MTD has a gorgeous rose of the mountain top, and uh, you can see the sapwood here, it's the whiter part. This is all just the rose of the mountain. The PV on the other hand is rocking a redwood top and this has a neck through construction as opposed to the MTD's bolt on. So you can see the neck running through the body. You can see the maple and the purple heart. The MTD also has a maple neck, but this is a one piece maple neck with a gorgeous bird's eye maple fingerboard. The PV's fingerboard on the other hand is Pau Ferro. Now the biggest difference between these two bases is the PV is not made anymore. This is a USA PV Cirrus and these were discontinued I want to say in the mid 2000s to early 2010s and they did do a few runs of the Indonesian Cirrus which was almost identical in looks and functionality but it was not the same. So yes, the PV is not made anymore and on the used market you can find them anywhere from around $900 all the way to $1,500 and above. Prices are climbing as these are rare bases and they're absolute gems. Just absolute gems. Now my MTD on the other hand lists for a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's going to be quite a difference in price if you were looking to pick up one of these bases. The PV Cirruses are also, I would say, more readily available, whereas this MTD Rose of the Mountain uh, is one of one. This was, I believe, a NAM 2020 showpiece, and yeah, it, this, it's my baby. Mm, I love this base. But enough talking about these bases, let's go ahead and play them. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks.
of a bass this MTD is. The B string is monstrous. The tone is just, mm, some of the best tone out there. I love this bass. As I mentioned, we're gonna have the mid selector switch set at 500, right in the center position. And that will most closely equate to what we have in the PV. We're gonna go through the neck pickup, bridge pickup, and both pickups together soloed, uh, with the EQ centered, as well as with a bass and treble boost, and the mids cut, so a mid scoop. We'll be doing that on both bases with the beat buddy behind us. But I'm just gonna play uh, both of these just by themselves a little bit first, and then we'll do that. <laughs> That's the mid scoop right there, and even with the mid scoop, there's so much just crispness and clarity and depth to the tone. And the PV Cirrus. These are iconic bases. I still remember checking out the online configurator where you could build your own Cirrus, and there was tons of custom options available. Well, not really custom, but you could order a ton of different finishes, woods, etc., as well as even inlay options uh, from the PV website, and it would get tossed onto the production line. So you could have a custom Cirrus without paying crazy custom shop prices. The tone of these basses, though, is just unbelievable. These were high-end modern basses that really demanded some respect, and you don't really see them on the used market nowadays. People are holding on to them. Uh, you, they still pop up every now and then, but they're becoming rarer and rarer, and the prices are definitely creeping up as all other instruments are. So uh, if you find yourself a good one, hold on to it, because they're they're special they're very special <laughs> string on here is just a massive B string. This bass is strung up with the Stay In Tune SIT Foundations, uh, the 45 to 125, I want to say. And then this is a strung up with MTD uh, strings. I forget what they are, but they're good. <laughs> this also has a tapered B, and this does not have a tapered B. Other than that, let's get started and uh, let's see how these basses sound next to each other. Thank you. 
And of course, no comparison would be complete without some slapping. So I will go ahead and slap both of these bases in those six configurations. We have the EQ centered with both pickups soloed and then both together. And our mid scoop with a 50% treble and bass boost and a full mid cut. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here are my final thoughts on the tone shootout between my USA MTD 53524 with its 18 volt three band preamp and the gorgeous Rose of the Mountain top and my PV Cirrus from the mid late 2000s with its redwood top, nine volt preamp and uh, just cool vibe. I just think that both of these bases are just absolutely spectacular. I'm very surprised by how good the PV sounds. I originally purchased this just to do a video on and then sell it, but I quickly became infatuated with its tone, look, and playability. I think those PV series are absolute gems, and I think the prices are going to continue to climb as they become rarer and rarer on the used market. Now, tonally, this is also a little bit of an apples to oranges comparison. Even though they're both rocking low impedance active pickups, the MTD's pickups are configured as a reverse P. So in these soap bars is a reverse P magnet configuration versus dual full length uh, magnets. And the PV is rocking uh, humbuckers. I believe they're dual coils in there. Correct me if I'm wrong. So the pickup configuration internally is a bit different as well. Um, and these preamps are also completely different with the MTD having a Bartolini uh, and the PV having its own in-house preamp and set of pickups. I believe they're called the VFL pickups. Either way, I think both bases sound stellar. They play absolutely great. And I just love both of them. They're keepers in my stable here. So uh, let me know which tones were your favorite down in the comments below. And let me know, were you surprised by how good the PV sounded in comparison to my awesome sounding MTD? Because I know I was. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about my MTD USA 53524, as well as my PV USA Cirrus. And as always, until we groove again.